I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for watching videos and posting excellent questions. Now this is on application of dot product and cross product. We are given vectors a i plus j plus k and b 2i minus j minus k. We need to show that a and b are orthogonal that means perpendicular. And part B is find a unit vector perpendicular to both A and B. Right? So here i, j, k are the unit vectors in the direction of x, y and z. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now in part A, where we want to show that vector A and vector B are orthogonal, it means they are perpendicular, right? Their dot product should be zero. That is it. So if you could show that A dot B is zero, that means they are perpendicular, correct? Okay? So let's do the dot product of these two. So we have <clears throat> ijk dot. So, okay, i plus j plus k dot 2i minus j minus k is equal to. So 2 and then j times this minus 1 and that gives you minus 1 so that gives you 0 since the dot product is 0 we have shown that they are perpendicular perfect now part b we need to find a unit vector perpendicular to both a and b now what we have learned here is that these two vectors they could be on this paper for example correct like one and the other one now the one which is perpendicular to both will actually be perpendicular to the paper so to find that vector which is perpendicular to both we need to do cross product Well, you could also find perpendicular vector using dot product. I'll provide you a link for that. But it's simpler to do cross product to find a vector perpendicular to both. So let us say vector C is perpendicular to both A and B. So in that case, the we need to find cross product. So, so the vector C is equal to A cross B. So we could write this as equal to let's say I J K A 1 1 1 B is 2 minus 1 minus 1. So that gives you minus 1 minus of minus gives me plus 1 minus j minus 1 minus 2 plus k minus 1 minus 2 so that is so this is 0 uh, here we get plus 3i plus 3j and here we get minus 3k so this vector is perpendicular to both but what are we really interested in finding we need to find unit vector so unit vector will be the vector c divided by the magnitude of vector c is it okay so so we get the unit vector by dividing 3j minus 3k with its magnitude so we get 3j minus 3k divided by square root of 3 square plus 
minus 3 square. Okay. So that gives you the unit vector. So which is 9 square root 2, 3 square root 2, right? So that gives you 3. We can take 3. Uh, okay, let me write 3j minus 3k divided by. So 9 plus 9 is 18. So you get 3 square root 2. So, so that is how you get your unit vector. So you could rationalize this also, or you may write j over square root 2 minus k over square root 2. Or you could also write this as square root 2 over 2, j minus square root 2 over 2k. Either way. So that becomes the unit vector you're looking for. So we get unit vector perpendicular to both A and B as <clears throat> okay. or simply j minus k but this is the unit vector okay so the magnitude of this vector is going to be 1 so that becomes your answer perfect so i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best